Hello, and welcome to another Herrick District Library video. Today we are going to be discussing the tag system in Libby. So if you have Libby, you may have noticed this little balloon showed up by this word called tags on your shelf. Again, down here on your main menu, the, two, the stack of books here, that is your shelf. And that's going to show you everything that you have checked out, your loans, anything that you have on hold, and this is where you access your tags. So what is a tag? A tag is just a way to mark a, an item for future reference. So it's a way you can organize things. It's a way that you can um, remember and go back to things, or it's a way to maintain a wish list and see what it is you want to check out next. Some different things, if you want to mark what you've listened to, you can have an audio tag. If you, can, if you want to remember what it is you've read for book club, you can have a book club tag. If you want to remember what it is that your grandkids enjoy, you can have a grandkids tag. You can also have, you automatically get this one that's called smart tag, borrowed. So anytime you check something out, it goes onto your borrowed tag, and you can go back and see what you've got in the past. It's similar to your history. This one is only for things you've checked out while your history includes your holds as well. If you tap on tags, you'll notice there's a little balloon here. That's because Libby has recently updated and there's some interesting things it wants to tell you about. So if you're interested, there's a little tutorial here that you can follow through Libby and it shows you some basic tags. So you can tap the show me how to go through the process. So they've chosen a random book and they're just sort of showing you. On any time when you see a book, you've got the place hold or the borrow, that sample option, and then the tag. And if you tap on tag, you can create a tag. So again, it's recommending book club or audio or wish list or anything that you want to organize it by. If you're on your phone, you can even give little emoji tags like five stars or 100%, anything that you're interested in. So for this one, I'm just gonna tap book club to do that as our example. You can give a brief description if you want. If you don't if you want to just make sure you remember exactly what you were thinking when you created this tag. And then you can hit create. So now it was tagged on this date with that little thing. So you can view and manage them. Um, like it said here, it automatically keeps track of anything you borrow or your sample. So if you read that little short sample of a book to see if you're interested in it, it keeps track of that so you can go back and find it again if you forget and you go, what was that book? It was kind of good. If you want to be able to share your lists, you can actually export your tags and send them a link so that they can see them. So if you keep track of all your favorite books, you can automatically recommend them that way and they can check them out right from the library too. So I'm going to tap done to finish up this little tutorial. Another popular one to use is the wish list. Again, that's a way you can keep track of what you'd like to check out in the future. I know I don't have time to read everything all at once, so I sometimes have to put it on a wish list and come back to it when I have time. There's another new smart tag that they've introduced recently that's called Notify Me. So I'm going to go to the search, and I just finished a book by an author, or actually a whole series by an author, and I really enjoyed it, and I saw that there's a new one coming out soon. So I want to make sure I get that book when it comes out. So I'm going to search for the author here because I don't know what the book is called. I just know the new one is coming out. And I can see here all the different books that are owned by the library. So these are the ones I can get a hold of right now. But that's not what I want. I want her new one. So I'm going to go back up to the top here. And these three lines are our filter options. That gives us a way to change our search results. And I'm going to come in here and go way down towards the bottom. And there's an option here that says deep search. And under here it says, this includes items, titles that your library doesn't have. They'll automatically do that if, you don't, if it doesn't find anything your library has. But you have to turn it on if the library has at least some of what's there. And you can see the number of titles available just jumped. 27 to 100. So now I'm going to go look at those. Oh, 
And here it is. There's even an alert that's coming soon. It's got the title. It's so new, they don't even have a cover for it yet. But I can come over here and you see this little bell and this notify me. I can tell them I want to know when this book comes out. So if I tap this little bell, it'll apply that smart tag. And now it's going to tell me a little bit about it. So when I turn this on, it's watching for this to be purchased at any of the libraries I partner with. And then it's going to send me an email when somebody buys it. So that tells me all about that. So after I hit done, I come back to the screen. So I can continue on and, notif and put no notify me tags on anything I want to know when the library purchases it. And it's not just for new stuff either. Sometimes the library doesn't own all of the books by a particular author. And so you can put little notify tags on anything that the library doesn't own. And that way, the library can see that somebody's interested in it and they may end up purchasing it. If you'd like to see your list of tags, we can go to our shelf here again. And now you can see we've got two smart tags. So I have my notify me and I have my borrowed. And if I tap on this, it shows me the whole list, which again right now is just one. But I'll know when that item comes out. If I ever want to remove a tag from something, I can come in and tap on the title. And right down here, I can tap on that and it will let me edit which tags I want. So I could add it to additional tags or I can remove it from tags. Or I can create an entirely new tag to add to it as well. So hopefully you found this useful. If you have any questions about tagging or anything else about Libby, call in or stop at the library and we'd be happy to help you. Have a great day.